Making a switch in our ways of life can be difficult, like switching from coffee to chai, or from milk chocolate to dark chocolate, or switching from going to the bar after work to going to the gym after work. Us petrol heads have a different kind of hard switch that is pretty much kind of impending nowadays, and that's electrification. Us petrol fans slam and slander EVs left, right, and center, but we all know that that is our future, and someday or the other, we're going to have to embrace it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Hub. My name is Bhavni Vaswani, and today I'm doing my little bit of embracing the planet and embracing electrification. This is a talk Kratos R, and today I'm going to be riding it all day to work and taking it for a long day to see what it's made of. And let's see if I can do the switch to electric. Now, just like cheat codes in GTA, the Kratos R has a cheat code of its own. Start the bike, press the hazard button while grabbing both brake levers, and the Kratos R can engage reverse, something that your ICE motorcycle can't do. So, what are my plans with the Kratos R? Well, nothing special. I will be going about my day as I normally do and see how the Kratos R can accompany me. First up was normal morning rush hour traffic to get to work. Kratos R is a super comfy bike with its front telescopic fork and monoshock at the rear. Plus, it may sound like sacrilege for a lot of purists, but I enjoyed the lack of sound and vibrations, especially on an early day like today to work. It felt calm and soothing. The Kratos has an onboard cluster which shows you all of the basics like your speed, battery, range, etc. But Talk has also introduced the Talk app which basically connects your phone to the bike and now your phone can display the same information but in better graphics. Now we've just arrived into the office and uh, since I do not have the privilege of charging the bike in my garage at home, I have kept the plug nice and ready for me to arrive into the office and get to charge my top motors Kratos R. So it's as simple as keeping the plug ready and plugging it in. No more worries, it says charger connected and I can get on to work. Well, I'm pretty sure this is a practical joke from my buddies, but little do they know that this is a commuter bike, yes, and it is meant for the masses, yes, but the brand is one that is born from racing blood. So this is a little uncouth for today. Talk Motors is an Indian electric vehicle manufacturing company that specializes in the production of electric motorcycles. The company was founded in 2009 by Mr. Kapil Shelke, a passionate engineer and entrepreneur with a vision to revolutionize the two-wheeler market in India by introducing high-performance electric motorcycles. Talk Motors gained significant attention and recognition when they unveiled their prototype product, the Torque T6X, back in 2016. The T6X was an all-electric motorcycle designed to offer an exhilarating riding experience while being environmentally friendly. It featured an impressive top speed of 100 km an hour and a range of approximately 100 km on a single charge, making it suitable for both urban commuting and longer rides. The Kratos R comes with similar performance. Talk Motors has also found a place in racing. The T1X was the first Asian electric motorcycle to compete in the Isle of Man Electric GP, winning the third position in 2009 and winning the first place in the Isle of Man TT in 2010. The Kratos R has fast charging capabilities and hence you can plug it into any of the public charging stations that are discoverable and accessible through the Talk app. Talk aims to ensure that you are never more than 5 kilometers away from a charging station in your city. The motorcycle battery consumes 4 units of electricity for a full charge from 0 to 100%. If your per unit electricity cost is 7 rupees, charging cost from 0 to 100 will be equals to 4 into 7, which is 28 rupees. The Kratos R takes between 4 to 5 hours for a full charge by a home charger. While doing the research for this video, I truly understood what I was riding today. 
So before anyone else from the office noticed, I quickly packed up, geared up and headed out to ride more. Being in this field of work and being your own boss does come with its perks. I'm actually leaving work early in order to take the long route home and take the talk Kratos R2 through some twisties in order to see what it's made of. So I've just unplugged the battery and while I am doing this, let's just talk about design because I really like it. The design cues are very similar to what we got to see in the Talk T6X concept a couple of years ago with a very aggressive uh, front end LED lights all over, a side fairing that looks like a very aggressive R, a tank styling that looks like a street fighter, again super aggressive. Uh, the motor and the battery block make uh, look like an ICE block to make it look more discreet and when I was talking to the owner of this company a couple of months ago, it was very apparent that he was a racing enthusiast. So best believe this bike is going to be a hoot to ride in the city. And let me tell you, Mr. Shelke really knows how to make a chassis. So this is going to be an absolute ball to ride. But he wanted to make a bike that was not for the enthusiast and only the enthusiast. He wanted to make a bike that was commercially viable in order for everybody to switch to electric. That's why the mill is not something that has very impressive numbers, but it is cutting edge just like no other. So let's just talk about performance while we go for a ride. The Torque Motors Kratos R comes equipped with a 4 kilowatt hour battery and 38 Newton meters of torque. And just like all EVs, the best part is the power delivery is instant. As soon as you twist the accelerator, the Kratos R picks up and goes. The Kratos R comes equipped with multiple riding modes, city, eco and sport. Pretty self-explanatory. City is optimized for city riding, maintained battery charge but still deploys enough power for those quick bursts of acceleration you need to overtake. Eco only focuses on maintaining the charge and in this mode, the Kratos R can extract a range of roughly 120 kilometers. But once you put it into sport, the Kratos R's accelerator becomes a scalpel. In this mode, the Kratos R can achieve a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour and accelerate like no other bike in the same price point. Moreover, the history, heritage and motorsport DNA of Torque Motors can be felt once you are in the twisties. The bike is agile, sharp and responds to all of your inputs diligently. EVs are usually criticized to be heavy vehicles, but the Kratos R with all of its battery tech only weighs in at 140 kgs. The brakes are very impressive and the bike has been equipped with Regen 2 to help maintain the battery range even better. The front is equipped with a 267mm disc and the rear with a 220mm one. What excites us even more is that Torque is working on a crazier version of the Kratos R called the Kratos X, rumored to be even quicker and even more fun to ride. The Kratos X will be something that will be targeted solely to the enthusiast and that is something we will be looking out for. Well, in this ever-evolving world, it's always good to keep up with the times. But when it comes to electrification and switching to an electric vehicle, most of the time, keeping up with the times comes with an expensive premium. And that's where Torque Motors is trying to make a change. This bike is priced competitively according to the internal combustion engines in its segment and that is super impressive because this is going to be the bike of the future and the concept of the future and that's what makes this Kratos R so impressive and that's what made me fall in love with the bike. It's fun, it's versatile and it is super modern. All of that at a pretty reasonable price. So what do you guys think? Would you pick this over a 150cc bike or would you still go for the engagement of an internal combustion engine? Do let us know in the comments below. I'm going to keep riding this bike because it is that much fun and I'm going to go straight home. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.